Have any of you had the situation to expand or shrink a picture to fit into a box? Well, there is a better way to do that. Hey, hello and welcome to another session with your designer by design. Let's dive into the 10 cropping techniques you should know. The basic objects that can be cropped are images, shapes and letters. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use these basic objects to crop so you can achieve more customized image or shapes. The list here shows all the techniques that we are going to see today. Images can be cropped into shapes or cropped with shapes. Likewise, we can do the same with shapes and letters. All right, let's get started. Crop images. The most commonly used crop method is an image crop. You do that by selecting the image then go up to the format tab and select crop command. Now PowerPoint shows the crop tool for you to select the appropriate size that you want to retain. In this image, I want to focus on the house and crop the rest. Another simple cropping method is by using the aspect ratio. For social media and other online needs, you might want the picture to be in a standard size. For that purpose, select the picture. Under crop command drop down, select aspect ratio and select the one that you want. PowerPoint will now set the crop tool with the selected ratio. And now you can reposition the picture area that you desire to keep. Crop letters. When you want to become creative, try cropping the letters to form unique shapes. To achieve that, first you need to type your text, then copy them, and while pasting, paste as image. Now, PowerPoint will allow you to crop. Crop shapes. PowerPoint has many predefined shapes. Sometimes you need just a part of that shape. In such situation, copy the shape and paste as image. Now the crop menu is enabled for you to crop. In this slide, I am creating a winner's podium from a cross shape. Crop letters with letters. I'm going to show an example where I'm using the letters Z, Z and Z that represent to sleep or to snore. There are multiple ways to represent this. Instead of three Z's, why not carve out the two Z's within the first one? Now, this is just one image and it still means the same. Crop images to shapes. PowerPoint allows you to crop images into one of many predefined shapes. To do that, select the image. From the crop command drop down menu, select crop to shape and select a desired shape. Now you see the picture looks like the desired shape. To adjust the crop area, now you may select the picture and click crop command. Now it allows you to maintain the shape that you selected and at the same time adjust the crop area. Crop shapes with shapes. When you need a custom shape, you may use multiple shapes to create that using the merge shape technique. If you need to crop a part of the shape for corner placement, you may do that. With 
merge shapes command there are multiple options that crops different parts of the shapes union this attaches both shapes together combine this combines both images cropping down the part that overlaps intersect keeps only the overlapping parts and crops the rest subtract crops the second shape from the first fragment this is a special command that just cuts the shapes to pieces where they meet you can choose which part to crop off and keep the rest crop images with shapes if you want to remove just a part of the image you may do so with the help of other shapes to do that first draw a shape and overlay it on the picture area that needs to be cropped now select the image first then select your shape go up to the format tab select merge shapes command and then select subtract it's that easy isn't this a familiar image crop shapes with letters when you want to carve out the text from a shape you can use this technique powerpoint treats letters as shapes type the text and place it over the shape now select the shape first and then your text go up to the format tab select merge shape command and then click subtract now powerpoint crops the text from the shape now you can format this new shape as you wish crop letters with shapes you might have seen logos that are created with the first letter of the company name and there are various ways of doing it you too can do that when you start cropping the letters with shapes to create a stylish and a unique design to do that overlay the shape on the letter use the merge shape command and select subtract to create unique designs or shapes here is another example with the letter t i am going to draw a rounded rectangle and tilt it a little bit make a mirror copy now i'm going to subtract that from the text and finally drawing an arc and again subtracting that from the text How is this new design? Does it look familiar? Crop images to letters or words. This is the most commercially used and popular cropping technique. To do this, first type the letter or the words that you need. Once done, select the image first, then the typed text. go up to the format tab select merge shapes and then select intersect look at the magic powerpoint has turned the image into the shape of the text and it has also cropped the rest of the image isn't this wonderful start cropping and harvest your designs for more such useful videos subscribe to designer by design see you in another video bye now